Shana Cleveland from the band La Luz. Thank you to Premier Guitar for asking me to contribute to the Hooked series. I am playing a song by the Trash Women today called Aphrodisia. And this is my favorite hook to just play alone, unplugged a lot of the time, just like bashing around on a guitar in my kitchen. I find it to be a pretty cathartic riff. It's best played a little sloppily, <laughs> which is my favorite and only way to play. I discovered garage rock um, when I was going through CDs in a used CD store in Los Angeles forever ago. And I don't even remember what I was listening to at that time. I think I was listening to a lot of indie rock kind of stuff that I got into in college, like Elliot Smith and some some like more like rock and roll bands, but a lot of like old soul music, but not I, I feel like I hadn't really dived into too much rock and roll at that time. Um, a lot of folk stuff and a lot of soul music. And when I found this garage rock CD, it was just one of these like classic kind of kitschy comps. I think it was called One Foot in the Grave or something like that. Wait, is that that Beck album? <laughs> it was called something Back from the Grave or something. And I just listening to that CD it made me realize how much I loved that kind of classic rock and roll twangy guitar. Um, how much I loved the whammy bar, which I didn't even really know existed, I think, before then. Um, just kind of that da 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 na 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 na. Um, yeah, I just that sound really resonated with me at that for like the first time when listening to that CD and all those old bands just ripping it up, playing lots of guitar solos. I feel like I hadn't even really given guitar solos much thought before that in my life, but I was really like moved by these guitar solos. And I just thought, you know what, I want to learn how to play like that. Uh, I want to make music like that. You know, I want to make rock and roll that feels really fun and unpretentious, but still feels like it has some emotion behind it. And so that was kind of the idea behind La Luz. And when I decided I wanted to start kind of a more classic rock and roll band with uh, lots of vocal harmonies and twangy guitar and people taking solos in almost every song, I thought, okay, I have to learn how to play in that style. Uh, where can I, how can I figure that out? You know, and I, I, don't, know how, I don't know how to read music. I've, I'm very self-taught. I've never really taken any classes. Um, so I just pulled up, I found the Ventures and I just started learning Venture songs, just kind of playing songs on YouTube and, and stopping them every two or three seconds, you know, just like going back and like trying to figure out every single note and how they got from this note to this note to that note. And are they whamming here? Are they bending the note? Are they sliding? Are they hammering on? You know, just kind of trying to pick apart every bit of what was happening. And as it happens at that time, I was also teaching myself how to play banjo, which ended up being really helpful for learning lead guitar, which was sort of unexpected. Uh, banjo is just so much about the way that you play each note, um, not, not so much uh, chords, but individual notes and kind of, I was doing like uh, scrub style, like three finger, you know, just playing a lot of notes. <laughs> so, so yeah, so the surf lead guitar just felt like a sort of a natural extension of that in a weird way. And as much as I loved the ventures, I was also really seeking that early snotty garage rock sound that I fell in love with on the garage rock compilation CD. So when I heard the Trash Woman for the first time, I was just like, ah, that's it. That's it. You know, that's the pleasure seekers meets the trash men, you know. Um, and that was kind of exactly what I was looking for. So I fell in love with the Trash Woman, and I've never covered their songs in public, but they're some of my favorite songs to, to just play alone and to kind of keep, keep my fingers warmed up, uh, kind of as La Luz maybe veers a little away from surf rock, I always like to kind of come back to the Trash Woman to remember what I loved about that style in the beginning and, and to sort of preserve that in the music, um, even as we might move away stylistically at times. Yeah, so that's my piece. I, I hope you enjoy the song and I hope you have a great day. <laughs>